What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So as you can tell, we have a special guest today. Um, I'm here in LA and we're all uh, staying in the house together. So I knew Zach was gonna be here. If you guys don't know, this is my friend Zach. What up? And we filmed a couple, <laughs> couple videos together uh, in the past and I, I was really, really hoping we were gonna be able to film one. So luckily we are. Zach, if you kind of want to introduce yourself for people that might not know. Yeah, so my name is Zach. Um, I've lost over 240 pounds. Uh, just through diet and exercise, really just cleaned up my diet, cleaned up my life, started taking my health seriously. I was diagnosed with hypertension at 19 years old and I figured, I saw the path I was going down. I was like, I don't want a heart attack, so time to turn it around. Yep, time to turn it around. And so if you guys don't know Zach, I've actually done a couple of videos with him on the channel, so I'll mm -hmm. link those down in the description if you want to get a little bit more, more into it. But, so when I, when I got here to the house, I was like, Zach, I want to film a video with you. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? What was your answer when I said that? Um, weight regain. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like it's it's not something a lot of people talk about because there's a lot of shame yeah. when it comes to it, especially when your persona is the guy that lost weight. Yeah. Because then you feel like you're not the guy that lost weight anymore, now you're the guy that gained weight. Yeah. Even though that's not really the case, mm -hmm. you know? So, so tell, tell us a little bit about your story. So why is that something that was kind of in your head as to why you wanted to talk about that? Um, yeah, I mean, I wanted to talk about it mainly because it's what I'm living right now. It's what I'm going through. And I, like I was saying is there's not a lot of content out there that goes over what's happening, the mentality behind, you know, weight regain and all that stuff, because like, you know, nobody wants to talk about it. Mm -hmm. It's not fun to talk about, yeah, you know, it's like admitting yeah. your faults. It's, and it's one of those things that it's obviously like, a, it's an uncomfortable thing, right? right? Like you feel like, because for Zach, like he is, again, a, a weight loss influencer, right. if you want to put it that way. So he lost a lot of weight. A lot of people found him because he lost a lot of weight. Exactly. And then you, you probably feel this shame, right? Oh, like yeah. of So I, I'm kind of curious, so kind of taking a step back, right? Uh -huh. You lost all your weight, you said 230 pounds, right? Yeah, and like so 240. And so how yeah. much weight have you have you gained? Um, I've gained back, so I was 223 at my lowest, okay. and I gained back up to 278. 278, okay. Yeah. Um, so when that started happening, right? Mm -hmm. When you started seeing the scale moving up, What's going through your head? One, just in general of your body, but right. then you have a social media following. You have you're you're popular on social media because of your weight loss. Right. Did that? Do you think that affected you as well? Um. Yeah. Definitely. Uh. Like obviously the fact that you're in the public eye, and I know that people follow me for inspiration with their weight loss, mm -hmm. and so it's almost like you feel like, well, if I'm not losing weight. Or like, like you feel like you're doing the opposite of what people are looking to you for. Mm -hmm. And so you really struggle with your identity and you feel like, well, I, I almost feel like, you, you feel like what you, your experiences aren't valid anymore. Mm -hmm. And that now like, because like that everybody's gonna view you as a failure and it really is just projecting, honestly, because nobody holds me to the standard that I hold myself to. Yeah. Nobody feels like, I'm not valid anymore and like the information I have to share and my story all of a sudden doesn't count anymore and it's not inspirational. Nobody's thinking that, but those are the thoughts that you are putting through your head and projecting out there. And so it, it is rough. It's mm -hmm. and but the cool thing is is that you want to isolate yourself when you're going through that. Yeah. That, so I'm glad that you brought that up because so I made a video if you guys have watched it right um, where I talked about weight loss influencers gaining weight back right. why is it happening and I kind of shared why I think things are happening mm -hmm. and what you just said right there isolation so a lot of people for like people that are following you or other right. weight loss influencers right they are so shocked because you have that guilt and shame and then so you don't post right. and then you come back and you're like okay yo I've gained 40 pounds or whatever it might be and people are like whoa Right. They didn't see it. They just one. They see you at one weight, and then all of a sudden, what the heck? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I don't think there was like. What's crazy is that I I never really took like a super long break from mm -hmm. posting, but I gained the weight really fast, like really really fast. I went from two twenty three up to like two seventy within like two or three months. So it was like fast and it was I got into a new relationship I was traveling a lot going on vacation so it threw off my diet it threw off my um, workout habits and then also 
when you're not feeling on and you're struggling with your identity, especially when your identity is this weight loss person, it kills your motivation. And that's one thing that I really wanna to stress to a lot of people that was completely unique until this point, point in my life. I never experienced it, but losing the same weight twice feels different. It's 100% different. You, there is no satisfaction. You know, when That's I was first losing weight, I was so excited. Every pound I've never drop. seen that number on the scale before. Exactly, I was yeah. so proud of myself. But now you just go from, now it's just a place of shame now. And even when you lose the weight, you're not proud of it because you you feel like you're just like fixing your mistake instead of charting new territory and achieving new goals. You just feel like you're, you know, like you said, fixing your your, yeah. your mess ups. When you're first losing the weight, it's all novel, it's all exciting. Yeah. But the thing is, and I, I'm kind of curious as to, you know, why the weight started coming back on. You kind mm -hmm. of brought it up a little bit, but for, for what I said in the video and what I think for a lot of people, I'm not saying this is you right, right, in right. particular, but a lot of people, they're losing the weight in very unsustainable ways. Right. And it's, it's unsustainable ways that they might not even realize are unsustainable until they're at a point where it's like, I don't want to lose weight anymore. I can't do what I was doing before. And right. then it's like, whoop, weight goes up. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't think that that was really the case for me just because I did, I did things sustainably. You know, I, I lost weight. I started losing weight in 2012, and I never regained until 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't the case for me. I did really well with, you know, learning the sustainable way to do things. But what happened with me is that I was so routined that once I got thrown out of my routine, I started struggling hard like really, really hard. And that was, if anything, was where I realized where I wasn't doing things correctly. Because I was, when everything's going fine, it's easy to stay on track. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do is you need to practice being flexible, where situations, because situations are gonna come up, life is gonna happen, and it's so easy to latch onto that as a reason to why you shouldn't do what you should do anymore. You know, that was for me where it was like, well, I have a girlfriend, so I wanna eat out more, and I'm traveling a lot, so I'm like on vacation, I wanna experience all the food and stuff that are at these places, and because you're traveling so much, you know, I don't go to the gym as often, mm -hmm. and so it kind of was just like this perfect storm, but now that I'm at the point where I'm regaining control again, you know, I'm losing weight again, I've lost like 20 pounds, it's, I'm realizing that that's where I struggled is I, I wasn't flexible in my head and I was defeatist in my head to where it was like, oh, well, I can't be in my routine. So that's a reason as to why I should just not even try. It's interesting. It's almost like you, you attributed your success to your routine and yeah. not to you. Right? That's like, a good point, yeah, So like exactly. when the routine fell off, it's like, well, there's, it's not me, it's my routine, so if I can't do right. my routine, I'm just gonna gain weight. And yeah, and it's funny because when I first started losing weight, I didn't have that mentality at all. It was like, I mentally was like, you are a different person now, this is just what you do. But that, that kind of backfired on me too because then I got a bad relationship with food and like fast food would like make me anxious and I wouldn't go out to eat and, and so it's, it's just, it's all a learning process and I think that that's something that is really important for people to remember is that this isn't a uh, uh something that you finish. Yeah, A to B, it's not like no, that. No, no. And, and that's why that's why I was excited that you wanted to to talk about this because I wasn't gonna like go up to you and be like, hey bro, <laughs> right. you've gained some weight, let's talk about it on the video. Yeah, like, yeah. no, I don't wanna do that, right? So, right. but I was excited because like you said, you lost weight in 2012, you haven't regained until recently. Right. So you're someone I, I, I believe you and I, I know that you you know what's up and you're not gonna be making excuses. And right. a lot of people, when they see someone that's gained weight, they think, ah, oh, they're just being lazy or they're right. not trying, oh, they're doing all these things. And and I think that, you know, they're, they're def that is definitely a case oh, for I mean, some people, well, right? Well, and it's the case for everybody. I mean, simple fact of the matter is, if you aren't where you wanna be, most of the time, like with your weight loss, it's on you. Yeah. You know, I just, I didn't make my weight loss a priority over these past two years. Mm -hmm. I let that kind of fall by the wayside because I was busy doing other life stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 not something that I would recommend to anybody. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> honestly, I wouldn't recommend gaining sixty pounds. You no, know? <laughs> I mean, well, no, be it's it's just different because the weight you gain mentally is so much more than the physical. Mm. You know, no, 
like I said, I, I people aren't really like calling me out all the time, yeah. like, bro, what happened to you? Like, you look like crap. You know, I don't feel like I look like I'm fat or obese. Mm -hmm. But mentally, the weight that I've put on is so much more. Like that's what it, it's. Like I said, it's it's so much different when you've gained weight. I gained weight steadily my entire life, yeah. and then I lost it steadily, and I never went back up. I've never once had a point in my life to where I could be like, I just wish I was that weight again. Yeah. And now I have that, and it's it's, it's we yeah weird. It is weird, yeah. man. It's weird because it's not as motivating. It really yeah. isn't. The thing that I think with this video i hope people like kind of take away from it is that it is like this is a journey man and like yeah. i say it all the time and i know that it sounds cheesy but everyone is going to have different spikes and valleys and peaks right. and like there's there's everyone is unique and everyone's mm -hmm. different so like that's why i don't like when people like look at me and they're like i want to do exactly what you've done because right. like, that's just impossible right not right. because what i've done is amazing but it's just me right it's right. like i've had experiences in my life that have led me to where i am now right. and you've had experiences in your life that have led you to where you are now right and i think what's really important that i feel like it needs to be stressed is that kind of going back to the flexibility thing what works for you now will change and you won't be able to do the same things you've always done because you as a person are constantly growing and changing. Mm -hmm. And so what used to work for me doesn't work for me now and isn't sustainable. And what didn't work for me back then works for me now. So it's, it's really just about being like able to be introspective and ask yourself, okay, I knew that that used to work for me, but what do I need to do now? And that's what's important is, it doesn't matter what you did in the past. All that matters is what you have to do today to get to where you wanna yep. be. And I think another thing that's really important is uh, like about the lowest weight, right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people chase their lowest weight. Right. And I think for a lot of people, that ends up being their detriment in the long right. run. Right. Uh, because like I, I've said it a bunch of times, my lowest weight was 180 pounds. Right. I am like 30 pounds heavier than that now. Right. I don't feel like I've gained a bunch of weight. It's like, right. no, life happened. And I, I knew that when I got down to that weight, it wasn't sustainable. Right. You know, and I think that a lot of people need to understand that if you're chasing a low weight, even if, and the weight might be way too low, you're always gonna feel like you're never there. You're right. always gonna feel like you're not hitting that target. And even once you get there, most of the time, like that's what I found with my personal journey is I was like, I wanna be 250 pounds. Mm -hmm. I got to 250 and I was like, I don't like this. Yeah. I need to lose more weight still. Yeah. And so that's the thing is having you know those hard numbers is kind of setting yourself up for failure. Mm -hmm. Especially, especially if you put so much value in it and you get there and it's not what you expected. Oh man, that kills your motivation. Because then it's then it feeds into like, well, what's the point? Why am I trying so hard if I'm not even getting the results I want? And and yeah, so it's it's kind of a dangerous game yeah. to play sometimes, yeah. And uh, like as far as being like an influencer, you mm -hmm. know, having these people that follow you because of your of your weight, I'm just curious, like kind of last thing that I want to ask, like right. how do you feel like that's affected it positively, negatively? Like how has that been? Um, so I would say it's been both positive and negative. Mm -hmm. um, the only reason it's been negative is because of my own projections mm -hmm. and I'm scared because it's something I'm insecure about and I'm not happy about. Th and this so, video is a brave video, bro. Like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you seem to be very comfortable, which yeah. I appreciate because I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Right. But like, this isn't something that's fun to talk about. No, there are probably going to be jerks in the comments that are saying stuff. Oh yeah, right? no. Which is, and I get it. I, look, I'm embarrassed about it. I'm not happy about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I also know that by hiding it, I'm not helping anybody. And you're not alone. <laughs> you well, that's, what, that's what I'm like, saying. And so like, that's where like, the, so the negative stuff is what I feel about mm -hmm. it. But the positive stuff has been any time I even mention it or talk about it. Sure, do I get one or two comments of people being like, bro, what happened to you? You gained weight, what, what's going on? Yeah, and those don't make me feel good. Yeah. But how many people are like, thank you so much for sharing this. Nobody talks about this. This is exactly what I needed to hear. And so while it sucks for me to admit this stuff and to talk about this stuff, I know that it's gonna help more people than, than it's gonna like hurt me. Yeah. And, and by kind of you know being open and honest, which is what I've always tried to do with social media, mm -hmm. always, um, I know that I get to help more people that way. And I've always, I know, yeah, I've always felt like the more vulnerable you are, the more you can help other people. Oh, well, it, it's the truth because yeah. 
you don't help anybody by saying you have a perfect life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You, you just make just, people feel worse about themselves. It makes it seem more unattainable. Yeah. And it makes it feel like, well, if I gained weight, then is something wrong with me? Because I'm not seeing any of these other influencers gain weight. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with me that isn't wrong with them? And it's like, no, I'm not special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have problems. Yeah. I regained weight. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... Thankfully, it wasn't in an uncontrollable way, yeah. and I've maintained the same weight now for a long time, but it's still a unique thing that people don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that was the same thing with like, you know, me and you, where that was what connected you with uh, such a large audience mm -hmm. was sharing your biggest insecurity. Yeah, at least and then, yeah. Exactly, that's how I found you. That's mm -hmm. how I met you. That's how I started my social media. Mm -hmm. So I know that I need to be that. Mm -hmm. I need to share what I'm struggling with so the other people that are out there struggling with the same thing don't feel like they're alone in it. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for being on the channel, bro. Of course, man. I know Anytime. that you're not I know that you're not doing this so you can get a bunch of followers, but yeah. <laughs> obviously his stuff will be linked down in the description Check if it you guys out. do want to follow him. Awesome, dude. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. There's one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah. Look up up I am. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Obey the warning signs. And when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. Seven.